Hey guys, good morning. It is almost one o'clock. I am driving to work and I'm overdoing it. Like completely. I, I really like don't know how I do this the majority of the time. Like I really, really, really don't know how I work this much. Um but yeah, I'm feeling it a little, a little too much, and really, oof, yeah, no, I'm just not, not doing, not doing well, <laughs> you know, staying 12 hours maybe was a bad idea yesterday, but whatever, I work uh, nine hours today, and then I work like or something like that tomorrow, so it's not bad. So yeah, I'm sorry I've been boring the past few days. I'm just gonna go um, pick up my glasses that I had to have the lenses put in for, and then go to work. It is slightly raining, like drizzling right now. Weather has been very strange the past week or so. so. All right, guys. Hopefully, I have a good day to get. I will talk to you guys later. I got my glasses and they got tightened so this is gonna feel a lot more comfortable and with my glasses they gave me a nice case and hold on they gave me a little thing to clean it and some spray so it's pretty cool I'm happy little things I have a problem little things. I'm also totally feeling today that I've been overdoing it by like a lot. Um, just like really, like my like widespread pain is a lot worse and I'm having pain in my legs. So, probably should use my TENS unit tonight. Hey guys, so I am Leaving work um, right now, it is about 10.30, and like all in all today was a good day, but I guess I'll update more when I get home, but just sometimes don't have patience for people. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drive home, and my parents cooked St. Patrick's Day dinner tonight instead of last night, I guess because of Lent. So I'm gonna have that, and I'll update you guys when I get home. <laughs> yay, yay. And if you guys hadn't guessed by seeing this, I live on these. Um, so I have spent the day very short of breath. I'm sorry, I'm pacing. I spent the day very short of breath, um, off and on, and then, um, uh, like really dizzy. Um, and I wore my compression things today, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I made sure I stayed hydrated. So I really don't know why my body is doing this. I think um, I'm starting to crash. Or I think that I crashed after yesterday. And I posted about this yesterday. I'm just really worried about how this upcoming week is gonna go. Um, but I got overtime this past week. I got overtime the week before. Um, so I'm just dealing with it for right now, and yeah, my legs are now getting tingly. Today's just not like a good health day, my stomach's been hurting. Nothing like severe, like, yeah, nothing severe, but like I'm just not doing well. But my parents are watching, what's the movie called? 
It was up for some sort of Oscar and I can't remember what it's called. I'll remember it later, but I watched it when, before it came out and uh, since it came out on Redbox, my parents are watching it now. So probably gonna go down and watch it for a few minutes with them, so. Okay, so I shouldn't have eaten what I ate today or what I just ate um, with the, I had like um, corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, whatever. And I'm, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to have, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to have corned beef. I'm definitely not supposed to have cabbage because of my, of my colitis and I had it anyway because it's like once or twice, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ho hooking my heating pad in. It's like a twice yearly meal that I have and I shouldn't have had it. So the reason I'm out of breath um, is because I'm in a lot of pain from it and I shouldn't have had it I should have I should have done what I did not do <laughs> um, so really um, I'm sorry um, I'm just waiting for the heating pad to start heating up but basically in a situation like this um, um, which used to happen more often, I, um, now I'm dizzy. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. I don't remember what I was saying. When I'm starting to feel better, I'll just, I'll jump back in for another video. Because I'm feeling, like, a little bit better. I'm still in pain. Um, and basically what happened, I just rewatched the video I took because I don't remember what I was saying when I, or I didn't remember what I had said um, before the video cut out. So basically that used to happen easily, like every day, like probably like three times a day or something like that when I was um, in my flare with my colitis, um, which I was in for about a year and have been in remission for almost two years. Um, will be two years in about three months or something like that, three or four months. Um, and basically I get this um, cramping that's like very, very severe. Um, like normally brings on tears. It's like, like sh sh sharp cramping, um, like very sharp cramping. And so basically, um, my large intestine is contracting too quickly. Um, it's spazzing out and, um, I have this still with my, because of the fact that I have um, what was diagnosed a few months ago as severe IBS, I used to just have moderate, now it's considered severe, so even though I'm in a flare, I mean a remission with my colitis, my um, IBS is going to just constantly kind of be more severe, and for me the IBS is more constant. I have like days that I'm okay, but it's usually like constant. What we ended up finding out recently is that I'm lactose intolerant. So, um, I've been doing better since I haven't been having lactose or anything with lactose in it. Um, but I'll, I'll get into my food restrictions maybe in another video or something like that, but in the future, but because I'm heavily restricted and I wasn't, what I said before is that I really wasn't supposed to have what I had. Um, but like I said before, it's like twice a year, we have it once, and then my parents freeze it, and we have it again a couple of weeks later, so it's like I literally only have this meal twice a year, and I was like, okay, like, my stomach's kind of been okay, so I might as well just try to eat it, and I did, and um, I was okay for a lot of it. I was also really hungry because I hadn't eaten much today, um, so I gave myself a lot of food also, stupidly, and um, 
I'm, I mean, as a generalization, I'm very restricted on basically anything that's hard to digest. So um, a lot of meats, I'm really only able to have chicken and then I'm able to have like shrimp. But other than that, I'm not really able to have anything else. Um, and then like, like leafy greens or anything that's um, moderate or high in fiber I can't have um, because of what happened earlier basically. So um, the only thing that works is hooking myself up to a heating pad. I end up putting it directly in my skin a lot of times. I don't burn my skin but because the heating pad is so hot and I put it directly on my skin I start getting this really bad reaction where I itch a lot on my stomach, um, but it's the only thing that works. Um, I mean, when I was in a flare, I was taking antispasmodics, which are muscle relaxers for your digestive system. I was taking those, um, I was taking extended release ones, 12 hour extended release ones. I was taking them twice a day and I had to overlap them. I had to be on them constantly for the better part of a year. I was on them constantly. and. Um, So yeah, um, I haven't, I don't need to take them as much anymore, but um, I still get like attacks like this. And so yeah, that's about it with that. Um, a lot of times it throws me into such a bad amount of pain that I'm crying or like hitting myself or, um, Well, I'm not usually crying or hitting myself. Um, I mean, to be just to be completely honest, there are some times that I repeatedly say that I want to die. Like, they, it gets bad. It gets really bad, and I was able to at least catch it. I was still in a lot of pain, but I was each able to catch it earlier than I have previously. And just as another side note, um, there are times, not so much recently, and. I believe this happened when I was in a flare. Um, I can't remember though, but this happens like, you know, in the course of the past like two years. So even after remission where I have times I wake up to myself crying in pain, like, and it's not even that like, I wake up, I'm in pain and I start crying cause it's bad. It's I wake up and I'm crying already while I'm waking up, I'm already crying and wondering why and then I get hit with pain. So it's weird. Um, with uh, Adrian, he kind of knows that if that happens, he just kind of throws a heating pad over and then keeps me like calm until I come down from it and it, I'm able to just go back to sleep. But, um, but yeah, that's, so that's, at least some awareness for digestive illnesses right there. But, so yeah. And at some points, I mean, there's no way I'm gonna be able to spread awareness without being completely honest and giving TMIs, but basically as soon as, um, I don't know if you can, as gross as this is, I don't know if you can hear my toilet still making sounds uh, because I flushed it because that's what you do. Um, um, but uh, I assume, like literally almost immediately after I got off of the last video I made, I had to run to the bathroom, so yeah. Sorry that there's no way for me to spread awareness without being gross, but that is the reality of my life. Okay, so sorry the lighting is bad. Um, I haven't left my bed basically since I took the, well, basically since I came upstairs um, and came to my room. Um, I'm gonna just sign off for, I'm gonna sign off for the night because um, uh, sometimes, um, Having having situations like this 
makes me fear that I, I, and I, logically I know that I haven't relapsed because I, I would be a way more symptomatic than I am. Um, but it just scares me because I know that if I do relapse, I have to do chemo. Um, so, so yeah, um, I'm just, I just took my medications that make me tired and I'm going to lay in bed, take the rest of my medications in probably like half an hour and edit the vlog and just relax and I'm on Reddit and I'm trying to watch or read um, either about funny stuff because I like doing that, Reddit's the perfect place for it, or um, um, reading scary stories, which I scare myself and then I end up like reading with the lights off but with my head under a blanket but it's okay so <laughs> it's worth it so thanks for watching sorry that today was very gross and detailed filled um and kind of boring but oh well i'm sorry <laughs> thank you for watching have a great day guys